An important part of learning science is doing science. It takes a lot of time, like, I mean, everybody commits a lot of time to this. So obviously we have, like, we want to win, but, but I, I guess it's, I'm, I'm just here for the experience. It's my first time and I feel like really happy just to be here. Science fairs offer students an opportunity to practice science investigation and invention to do science. Students conducting science fair projects have the unique opportunity to experience the full science process, from asking the questions and conducting background research into the topic, to the experimentation or engineering of a design, then a peer review of the results. The question is, why science fairs? Yeah, I definitely had a good time. It was really awesome. And when we were on the plane, I was super nervous that I wasn't going to know anybody, and it was going to be really sciencey, and the judges were going to be scary. And it kind of was, but then you get to know everybody and all your worries just kind of like disappear because it's so much fun. Students who participate in science fairs, those who choose science, go far. In a 2011 study of graduates of post-secondary institutions in North America, of the top 10 best paying college degrees, nine of them were in the sciences. Science fairs are more than students learning about their favorite topic. Science fair projects allow students to practice scientific thinking and problem solving improvise when a procedure doesn't work out as predicted, present findings to others, and constructively critique each other's work, and it sharpens their skills in communicating science processes and content. Students strengthen their math skills through analyzing and graphing data, reading comprehension skills by doing complicated background research, and further develop their communication and presentation skills. I've never been in any educational circumstances where I've seen students grow so much and accomplish so much as they have in science fair. So to me, it's a no-brainer. You've got to do it. You learn a lot of things that you wouldn't learn in the classroom, and it's those experiences that um, help you mature and learn a lot more about science than you would have before. Students also love the mentorships that they can request from industry and higher education. The insight they receive from these professionals is very encouraging and inspiring. Yeah, no, for sure. I got to talk with a lot of doctors and paramedics and people in the industry who's actually doing this stuff as a job, so that was actually really interesting. Science fairs are an especially motivating way to learn, and as you can see, they are engaging and fun. Regional fairs have many science-related activities, but are also a chance for students to meet with their peers and discuss their projects openly in an open and non-threatening environment. The award ceremonies are much more inclusive and rewarding for students who participate. Tens of thousands of dollars in cash and scholarships are given away at each regional fair in BC, and in 2011, over $1 million at the Canada-wide Science Fair. The business community is waking up to the fact that sponsoring a science fair is a worthy cause. Teachers who support students are rewarded too. They often feel a real sense of satisfaction when they motivate their students to participate, support them along the way, and are truly inspired when the students succeed. Many teachers take this opportunity much further and volunteer their time to coordinate and administer science fairs in their region. In sports, students compete in tournaments. In science, students compete as well. They exercise their minds throughout and challenge themselves and their peers at the science fair. There are prizes and awards, and top students get scholarships. The difference between the athlete and the science student is the value of the experience. Both are fun for the student and both are healthy activities for the mind and body. And many students participate in sport, sciences and the arts. They are not mutually exclusive. Being in grade 12, it's, I obviously can't do it again, but if I, if I was in grade 11 or 10, or, I would definitely do it again. And even if I didn't win, it, it would have been a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of fun. The future of our province's economy, environment, and public health depends on engaging British Columbia's young minds in science and technology. Today, not enough students are pursuing science and technology studies. We need to close the gap between the number of science and engineering graduates that we have and the number that we need, the science gap. The future of our province's public health, environment, and economy depends on motivating youth to stretch their imaginations to become tomorrow's innovators. Science is serious business and it is fun. It is important to our health and well-being, our lifestyle, and our future. Choose science, go far. I'm going to try as hard as I can to come back. I'm really excited because if I do get to go, I get to go to Prince Edward Island and I've always wanted to go.